Alrighty guys, this is my 2015 Camaro SS. It's got the LS3, 6.2 liter. I just wanted to make a short video on the uh, Spectre cold air intake system. Um, I just received this filter and I noticed there hasn't been any real videos online talking about it so I uh, just wanted to explain fitment, performance and things like that, just a general review. I've had this filter on for about uh, about a week and a half. As far as the boxing itself goes, the boxing was really nice. Everything was packaged very well. Um, it wasn't just thrown together and slapped together for something as inexpensive as this. I was expecting uh, the packaging to be much more rough. Um, but the uh, all in all packaging was nice. The fitment was phenomenal. I can't explain how well the fitment was. Everything went together perfectly as uh, supposed to be. No gaps anywhere. Everything seals perfectly. Um, the nut and bolts are all correct. The hardware is correct. Um, the, the rubber uh, grommeting here and the, the weather stripping around, everything works extremely well. Um, I'm really happy with the fitment and how well it was put together. Uh, as far as actual performance data, I can't really say it's like seat of your pants fast, but there's definitely a notice in torque management. Uh, it feels like it's got more throughout the low and mid range. I don't know so much about the high range. I mean, I can't really say yes or no. I don't have a dyno. But as far as for hard performance or hard actual data, I can say that my incoming air temperature is no more than three to five degrees above ambient. I have a OBD2 scanner and I'm always monitoring uh, while moving. Even when it's completely heat soaked at about 125 degrees incoming air temperature, sitting at idle, baking in the sun, uh, getting real hot, just the worst conditions possible at 125 degrees is within five to eight seconds of moving I'm right down to that three to five degree ambient within ambient temperature uh, range and you know it, it sounds pretty good it's not really monstrous and loud like some other intakes may be I don't know if that's because of the aluminum uh, piping or uh, plastic or what but it doesn't have that huge growl which really doesn't matter to me but some people may be looking for that and may want to know uh, but as far as fitment goes couldn't ask for more it fits as well as a three or four hundred dollar k and system that I've seen and installed myself in other different types of vehicles and the um, as far as a general review, I'm really happy. I think it's worth its weight in gold. I mean, it's, uh, I definitely get better gas mileage, that too, uh, I forgot to mention that. I'm definitely noticing at least an increase of one to two miles per gallon. I'm noticing I get an extra 28 to 31 miles per tank extra. So, and that's running on regular, of course. Um, uh, I think I covered everything here, the fitment, the sound, performance. Yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, you can uh, shoot them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But right now, I guess I'll just, um, I guess I'll just start it up so you can hear it. The idle goes, the idle's dead on, no idling issues too, in case anybody would want to know that. Uh, my temperature gauges, Joe, I'm all completely heat soaked, uh, can't get to focus in right now. If you could hear that, but there's a bit of a uh, bit of a vacuum or growl in there. 
I have the dual mode exhaust, so if you're, if you're wondering why my exhaust sounds like that, it's I have the dual mode exhaust. And for anyone interested, oh, I don't think you can make it out. I can't focus this right now. Let's see here. If I can get this to focus. There we go. Nope. Doesn't really want to focus. There we go. In inlet air coming temperature, I'm at 86 degrees with the hood open. And my ambient outside is 66 and I'm not moving at all. And my engine is completely heat soaked. Completely heat soaked. So, um, just to confirm, somebody may want to see what my coolant temperature is. Uh, my coolant temperature is at 215 and I'm completely heat soaked. So, um, I'm not trying to prove or disprove cold air intakes. I'm just trying to put out my little opinion and whatever hard data I have to show. So, um, and uh, if I can get a video with somebody recording while I'm moving to show that I'm getting 13, uh, 3 to 5 degree above ambient temperature readings, I'll do that if there's enough requests for it. But I think I have enough proof right now to, to show on this video. So, alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Shoot me any questions in the comments.